Yeah, Big Lou, Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And guess what I've got going on for you? We're going to do onion smash burgers today. Oh, yeah, onion smash burgers on the barrel house cooker. Yeah, see, it's called the cooker, y'all, because it's more versatile than just a smoker or a grill. It's a grill and a smoker. And I had a question on my follow-up review to my initial review of the barrel house cooker as to whether or not I thought it was safe to actually grill on top. That is with the H-frame in the center, the coal basket on top of the H-frame, and the grill grate up on top. Now, at the time I did that review, I hadn't done so yet. I was just going by what the instructions said. But by the time the fella asked the question, I'd already grilled twice. I'd grilled regular burgers, and I had grilled um, boneless skinless chicken thighs. Well, the the other day, my family wanted onion smash burgers. I said, why not get them done on the barrel house cooker? So, hope you enjoy. I know they were good. I've already eaten them. Well, for the prep work, we got to get some thin sliced onions. So I quartered up a white onion and I run it across the slicing side of a box cheese grater like that. And it makes these really thin slices. Of course, you could use a mandolin. No, not that type of mandolin. Not the kind in a bluegrass band. You know, the kind for slicing stuff, all right? Uh, or you could use your knife. Just get them real small, you know, so that they'll mash into the meat when we mash the burgers down. All right, now this is some 80-20 ground meat. And I kind of flatten it out on some parchment paper. And then I put the seasoning on. What I'm using here is a Cajun Creole seasoning mix that I make up. It's a uh, Basically, salt, pepper, garlic, cayenne, and chili powder. Uh, you know, it may not be the world's best burger seasoning, but it's not bad. It makes pretty good burgers, you know. Uh, there's probably better options out there, but that's what I had on hand. That's what I used. And then once I got it all mixed up, I started making the little balls out of it. I guess it's about two ounces. I didn't measure it. I just made them about the size of the palm of my hand. Not too big and not too small. You know, just about like that so that we can... Um, mash the burgers into the onions, all right? Now, I didn't have any hamburger buns on hand. Like I said, this was a Sunday afternoon, but we did have French bread. We always have French bread. This is actually that everything French bread with a lot of herbs and stuff on top of it. It's really good. Uh, I love French bread, and we always have it on hand in our house. It's one of the things we just don't run out of. Coffee, peanut butter, and French bread, we just always have on hand. So what I'm doing is making some slices. We're going to toast it on the barrel house cooker and we're going to use that in place of regular burger buns. All right. Comes out really good. Now let's get the grill thrill on. It got the charcoal chimney lit up with kings of charcoal. Now these things are supposed to face up and that's something I didn't realize on my first video. I guess I should have, but and the H frame is going to sit like that. The charcoal ring is going to sit like this, and no, it doesn't look new anymore. I've used this thing several times in the past several weeks. I really like it. Is it worn out? No. It's seasoned well. All right. After we got the charcoal ring just like that, we're going to put this grate right there, and that's how we're going to grill, y'all. I've got this French bread that I'm going to use in place of burger buns, toasting up on the grill here. Got the charcoal in the basket. And you can see they're getting kind of pretty. All right. Got a few more to do. They don't need to be heavy toasted because I am using them basically for the burger sandwich, you know. All right. Let's see. I'm using a... Um, look at that. See, it toasted pretty well, doesn't it? Got to get these off of there. Got those a little too much. So you can see it grills. Well, I apologize. The camera got overheated sitting right over the coal. So I had to move back some a little bit, but hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. I'll put this uh, paella pan down right in the center. You can use just about any pan that fit. Heck, probably a cheap aluminum pizza pan would work as a griddle when this uh, BHC is in grill mode. All right. Now remember, it's not recommended to do this with foods that are much thicker than your back of your hand. Just things you can cook without a lid on, all right? All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of these onions right down there like that. I got a little bit of cheese in my hand too, but that's okay. A pile of onions there, pile of onions there, pile of onions there, pile of onions there, and we'll go with a little bit of pile of onions right there in the center. Just let them start cooking. All right, now, I'm gonna put a piece of meat right on top of each pile of these onions, just like that, and let it start going. Oh, those spread out on me. Don't spread out on me. Don't, ooh, that's hot, man. Don't try that at home. 
I got this bacon press I'm gonna use as a burger press. It's got a picture of a pig on it. It was made in, uh, it says 1978 right there. So it, it's kind of old, but it works. I named that pig, y'all. Guess what I named him? That's right. I named the pig Pig Lou. All right. Time to mash on him a little bit. We're gonna put this piece of parchment paper down. And we're gonna mash. Parchment paper down. Mash. Just mash those onions right into it, all right? And get this one too. Just mash the onions right into it. And that onion gets all in the flavor of these burgers. Oh, they're gonna be good. I promise you. All right, well, while these burgers uh, sizzle and griddle like that, look at that right there. Ooh, ain't about time to flip. I wanna show you, but you wanna keep that thing on the bottom open all the way. Keep it pulled out. Because when you're grilling, it's not like the smoking. You don't need to uh, worry about your altitude. You want as much air getting to these coals inside there as you can, all right? But as you can see, it gets pretty hot and it works pretty well as a grill. But, as I said, if you're grilling foods that you would need a lid for, you wanna go ahead and put the coal basket down on the bottom and put the grate down at the center right here and you would have to reach in to flip things over. But for stuff like this, and like I said, the last time I did burgers, I didn't use a griddle. I just grilled them right on the thing, like backyard burger style, and they work great. These are getting ready to flip. Let me put the camera back on the tripod and we'll get that done. All right, these burgers are ready to flip over. So we're gonna grab them, get the onions off the bottom, put it like that. You see how those onions mostly mashed inside that meat? It's gonna be so good, so good. Well, that one didn't get mashed in there as much as I wanted it to, but it's still gonna work. Uh-oh, look at that. Get out of there. Mm. All right, now what I'm gonna do now that these are just about done is I'm just gonna put some cheddar, shredded cheddar cheese on top of them. I'm not doing this to all of them because not everybody wants uh, cheese on all of them. And in fact, I only want cheese on one of mine and the other one I don't, so these six are gonna get cheese and the other ones won't. One, cause I'm out of cheese. Woo, it's hot man. Don't try that at home. I'm an untrained amateur. All right, the cheese has begun to melt on here. Time to get these off. Scoop them up with as many onions underneath it as I can. That one didn't stay round at all, but that's okay. That's quite all right. So here they are. Plenty of onions on them. Plenty of onions on them. And these are the ones with the cheese on it. All right. And then I scooped up some of the onions just in case somebody wanted extra onions. All right. I'm going to go ahead and build a burger or two, one with cheese and one without. I'm going to keep it rather simple, just a few toppings. You can put pickles, lettuce, dress them however you want. All right, I'm going to put mayonnaise on one of them and mustard. And the one with the cheese, I'm going to put just high on 57, all right? So, there's the top of that one. Let me grab this big one here with the cheese. Be right back. Step around the camera. Have that one there with the cheese. I'm just gonna keep it simple. Just keep it simple and put that one right there with a lot of onions on it. Mm, it's gonna be good, all right? Squirt a little mustard. Sorry about that. That was the mustard, not me, I guarantee. All right, get this Heinz 57 to shake it down. Get it right there. I love Heinz, I love this stuff on a burger. Mmm. All right. Now, got some on the counter. 
Oh well. There we go. Just like that. All right, now. Hey, Big Lou Barbecue. It's time to do a taste test. Now look, I cut them off camera so you can see what they look like. Here is the one with just mayonnaise and mustard and onions. All right. And then we're gonna taste the one with cheese and the uh, 57 sauce, all right? Now, um, I did get sunburned yesterday. Where I'm coming from, it's late March. That means grilling season's just about over. It's getting too hot to grill. Smoking season, barbecue season, where we just put the meat in there and walk away back inside the air conditioner, that's coming up. But that grill does get hot. But it doesn't ruin any of the insides. It's designed to grill on top like that. And as you can see, it worked well with just the griddle. All right, here we go. Oh, mmm, mmm. I love using French bread as a bun. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. And onions, as my grandmother would say, that's got more onions than Carter Scott liver peels. All right, let's try the one with the cheese. Looks like that right there. There's the cheese and the Heinz 57 on it. All right. That's a good sandwich. Oh man, both of them are good sandwiches. Hey, the grill works great as a grill. Works great as a smoker. Very, very versatile. Check out the uh, Barrel House Cooker. I'll have a link down below and if you go to their website through that, they'll know that I sent you. 